Okay, so in this video, I'll be going over mining Ethereum on my RTX 3060. I'll be going over the hash rates, power draw, and overclocks mining Ethereum. Now, if you just want a quick glance, I'll have everything in the description below. And if you want a more detailed guide on how to set up the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum, check out my other video. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of miner. Okay, so let's go over mining Ethereum on my RTX 3060. I'm going to go over the hash rates, overclocks, and power draw mining Ethereum. Now, I do own the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3060 Gaming OC, so the figures may vary from other RTX 3060s. It is Silicon Lottery, and not all RTX 3060s will be the same. Okay, so now this is my test bench with the RTX 3060. And on idle, the test bench is averaging around 36.5 watts. Now the miner program I'm going to use is called Phoenix Miner 5.5C, but there are other miner programs out there that may get you different results. And the overclock program I'm going to use is called MSI Afterburner. Now there are different skins you can get with MSI Afterburner, but they all work the same. Okay, so now for the video card drivers, there are two drivers I'm going to test out. The most current drivers, which is version 466.27, and then the dev drivers version 470.05. Now for a quick rundown, with the current drivers version 466.27, on stock you'll be getting around 21 mega hashes at 110 watts. And overclocking the RTX 3060, you'll be getting around 26 mega hashes at 100 watts. Now with the dev drivers version 470.05, on stock you'll be getting around 41 mega hashes at 150 watts. And overclocking the RTX 3060, you'll be getting around 50 mega hashes at 120 watts. So because NVIDIA implemented a limiter when it comes to mining Ethereum, you're going to lose about half your hash rates. But using the dev drivers, it allows you to mine Ethereum on the RTX 3060 with its full potential. So first, let's test out the current driver, version 466.27. And this is MSI Afterburner with the RTX 3060 on stock settings. So mining Ethereum on stock settings with the current drivers, I was averaging around 21.93 mega hashes, and the whole rig was pulling around 148 watts. So the GPU itself was only pulling around 112 watts. So the hash per watt is around 0.20 mega hashes per watt. But really quickly, I want to show you mining Ethereum with the current drivers. So right when you start up, you will see your hash rates are a lot higher in the beginning. But after a couple seconds, it starts to drop to about half of what it was. So let's check this out. Now for the best efficiency OC settings I tested with the current drivers, I put the power limit at 58%, which is the lowest it would go, the core at zero, and the memory at plus 1,500. Now I was averaging around 26.93 mega hashes and the whole rig was pulling around 134 watts. So the GPU itself was now pulling around 98 watts. So the hash per watt is around 0.27 mega hashes per watt. So as you can see with the current drivers, you're losing around half your hash rates due to the NVIDIA limiter. Okay, so now let's test out the RTX 3060 with the dev drivers. But there are other additional requirements in order to get the full hash rates out of the RTX 3060. The RTX 3060 requires the dev driver, version 470.05. The card must be on PCIe 3.0 on a X16 or X8 slot. So it's very picky on motherboards. So if you have an old motherboard, it may not work. You can't use any PCIe risers, the X1 slot. Now, if you didn't want to use risers, it needs to be the PCIe risers X16 slot. And it needs to be connected to an HDMI monitor or you need an HDMI dummy plug. But check out my video on how to set up the RTX 3060 for mining Ethereum for more details. And if you didn't want to grab the dev drivers, if you join my Discord, I have a section in my Discord where you can download the dev drivers. Okay, so now let's test out the dev drivers on stock settings. So on stock settings with the dev drivers, I was averaging around 41.56 mega hashes and the whole rig was pulling around 185 watts. So the GPU itself was only pulling around 149 watts. So the hash per watt is around 0.28 mega hashes per watt. 
Now the best efficiency OC settings I tested with the dev drivers, I put the power limit at 70%, the core at zero, and the memory at plus 1,500. I was now averaging around 50.31 mega hashes and the whole rig was pulling around 155 watts. So the GPU itself was now pulling around 119 watts. So the hash per watt is around 0.42 mega hashes per watt. Okay, so doing some more testings, I wanted to put the power limit a little lower. So I put the power limit at 65%, the core at zero, and the memory at plus 1,500. Now I was averaging around 48.84 mega hashes and the whole rig was pulling around 146 watts. So the GPU itself was now pulling around 110 watts. So the hash per watt is around 0.44 mega hashes per watt. So lowering the power limit to 65% from 70%, I lost about 1.5 mega hashes, but it did decrease the power draw by about 10 watts. But lowering the power limit even more will significantly decrease your hash rates. Okay, so now I wanted to test the RTX 3060, decreasing the core. So I put the power limit at 70%, the core at minus 100, and the memory at plus 1,500. I was now averaging around 50.30 mega hashes, and the whole rig was pulling around 155 watts. So the GPU itself was now pulling around 119 watts. So the hash per watt is around 0.42 mega hashes per watt. So now decreasing the core a little more. So I put the power limit at 70%, the core at minus 200, and the memory at plus 1,500. I was now averaging around 50.28 mega hashes, and the whole rig was pulling around 155 watts. So the GPU itself was pulling around 119 watts. So the hash per watt is around 0.42 mega hashes per watt. So decreasing the core did decrease the hash rate slightly, but it did not affect the power draw. So it may be best to put the core at zero. Okay, so now this is my recommended efficiency overclock settings for the RTX 3060, but fine tune it if needed. I recommend putting the power limit at 70%, the core at zero, and the memory at plus 1300. Now if the GPU starts crashing, either decrease your memory or increase your power limit. And to fine tune the GPU to make it more efficient, try either increasing your memory or decreasing your power limit. Hopefully this helps. In a quick troubleshooting you may run into, you may get some invalid shares when mining Ethereum with the RTX 3060. Now invalid shares is due to high overclocks, but there were incidents where I was getting invalid shares when I barely overclocked the RTX 3060. So how to fix? So in order to fix the invalid shares, first set your overclocks to the best efficiency settings. Then only change your memory clocks back to zero. Start the miner program. Let the miner program run for at least five minutes or until it finds a valid share. Then set your memory back to the best efficiency overclock settings. So for me, it was back to plus 1,500 and then profit. All right, so thanks for checking out my mining results, mining Ethereum on my RTX 3060. And if you want a more detailed guide, check out my video on how to set up the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum. And if you do have any questions and you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of miner every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. So we decided to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan. So make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.